Okay, so uh, I don't really have all the tools and stuff I need to be carving the bodies myself. And I definitely don't have the tools I need to be making the perfect necks myself. So what I normally do, as you've seen in my last uh, complete build videos, uh, I bought the body and neck and then just assembled and upgraded everything that I wanted. Uh, but I, I've started to figure out that that's actually a little costly. There's a cheaper way to do it to get the body and the neck and everything much much cheaper and that's to uh, just buy the whole guitar all at once so uh, that's what I did here I'm gonna test this out I'm gonna do the opening here in a minute in the other room better lighting and all that so you can see everything better but I'm gonna test it out see how good it is the way it is but the neck and body should be pretty much the same thing that I'm always buying anyway. And buying it as a complete guitar is just so much cheaper than buying everything separately. So I bought this and I bought all the parts and everything I'm going to need, all the paint and stuff to upgrade it and make it exactly what I want. So let's go ahead and cut to the, the box opening. Might be a little noisy because I got my AC running right over there. Uh, this... Uh, if they sent me what I ordered, it should be something... I used to have one a long time ago. I really, really liked it. But I got rid of it. And lately I've been wanting another one. So I went ahead and I, I decided I was going to build my own. To my own specs and everything. Because that would work out better for me. But like I said, I figured out it's a lot cheaper. Especially for this particular model. It's a lot cheaper to just buy the whole thing all at once and then buy all the parts to upgrade it with. Now I've already got all the parts in that I need to complete it so it'll be a pretty quick build and uh, yeah uh, total with the entire guitar here and all the upgraded parts and the paint and everything primer, lacquer, all that stuff that I need even some extra tools I spent about $230 to build this this thing and uh, well let's go ahead and see there's the back of it there oh. came with a cable uh, cheap cable but hey, you can never have too many cables my expensive ones have gone out. I've been using cheap ones lately. There you go. I think you should be able to figure out what it is from there. Very lightweight, actually. Get all this stuff off of it. Now. There we go. This is the cheapest jazz bass available on eBay. It definitely needs to be set up. It's rattling. Bridge looks good though. The bridge is actually, or the neck is actually unfinished. It's a little rough, which isn't that bad because I was probably going to sand it down anyway to get rid of the uh, the name brand. Which I always say on some of my other channels. If the company is proud enough to put their own name on it, then the product can't really be that bad. And so far it looks pretty good. Definitely needs to be cleaned up a little. It's got some... It's got a protective film over the pick guard that I need to get off of there because it looks a little funny. Uh, definitely need to set the intonation and the action. It's rattling a lot there. It actually looks a little bit better than I expected it to. Uh, the tuners actually look like they're halfway decent. Yeah, the tuners are actually... I mean, they're cheap tuners. You can tell they've been molded almost like pla like you would mold plastic, but it's chrome. Maybe that's just the chrome plating on there because they're mirrored. But they're, they're better than a lot of the other cheap tuners I've dealt with. String tree there. Uh, hmm... Something I forgot about when I was buying all my parts is a string tree, but that's all right. So, 
I was uh, hoping to test this out and hear how it sounds without having to do any serious adjustments to it, but I'm gonna have to set the action on the bridge and the intonation because it's rattling. Okay, if I wasn't planning to rebuild this guitar anyway, I would be extremely pissed off right now. And that's because straight out of the box, I plugged it in trying to get it tuned so I could hear how it really sounds. And uh, the nut popped out of place. So I have to take the strings off, take it apart, and glue the nut back into place. That's, that's very frustrating considering it's straight out of the box and I can't even play it. It's not even playable out of the box. So I'm going to get the strings off, put the nut back in place, and then we'll see how it sounds. Okay, now that I put it back in place, I can feel what the issue is. The nut is just a fraction of a millimeter thinner than the, whole, the slot that was cut for it. So... Because realistically, you put the nut in place, it shouldn't move, even without the glue. It shouldn't move at all. The glue is just a reinforcement. But this, it definitely needed the glue. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry. And then uh, string it back up and try it again. Uh, I paid about $85 for this bass. Brand new, never before been used. Uh, you could probably pay the same at a pawn shop and get a better brand. It is really, really lightweight. So I know for a fact, just by holding it, that this is one of those cheap Chinese basswood bodies, basswood bodies. And the neck looks like maple, but there's no telling. It, it might be maple, it might not. The jack, or the plug doesn't go all the way into the jack cable. It buzzes, probably needs to be shielded. It's buzzing unless you're touching the strings. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but considering I paid $85 for it and it's the cheapest possible jazz bass out there, it's actually not too bad. I mean, it is an $85 bass and it's worth every penny of it. like a lot of other cheap basses I've had, but I mean, it's, I think it'll work out for what I want to do. Now, if you're just trying to learn and you can't really afford anything special, this is perfectly fine to learn on. So, in fact, I'm probably gonna learn on it myself. <laughs> terrible the bass is terrible so it's all gonna work out that's really odd that there's a finish inside the neck pocket you never finish inside the neck pocket because like they sh shaved it down right there but the rest of it's got a finish on it that's weird And like I thought, the cavities are not shielded.
All right, so the color I've decided to go with for this guitar is galaxy blue color shifting. This stuff's kind of expensive. It's about 30 bucks a can when usually I spend about five bucks a can. So uh, I hope this is worth it. Now, this stuff, you're supposed to put a black coat first, but I only went with the regular primer. So it's not gonna be nearly as dark as it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look like this. And it changes purple and green with the light and the angles and all that. But I'm putting it on the gray, so it's gonna be a lighter blue, lighter color. Color is starting to come out better, but you can also see the runs in the paint a lot more. So it's also a lot more purple on here, but it does change colors, just cool it's blue, green, purple. I'm not sure how well it picks up on camera, but it's supposed to change colors depending on the angle it's also got kind of a from the way I spray painted it it's got kind of a tiger stripe thing going on it's purple blue green but I think it came out all right even with the tiger stripes going on kind of looks like a quilted pattern almost hardware uh, still waiting for the black strap locks to come in but I put silver ones on it for now black knobs Wilkinson pickups I really like the Wilkinson brand Wilkinson bridge and the color is uh, color changing 
blue, purple, and green. Anyway, here's some before and after. Definitely sounds better. Uh, I'm not gonna do a song on this one. I'm not gonna take it over to Jacob to do a song on it. I've already got, I wanna keep this for myself, and uh, but I got somebody else that really wants it, even though technically it's still gonna be in this house. Uh, uh, my girlfriend wants it for herself, and ironically, uh, it's a jazz bass, and her name is Jazz, so that works out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I think it came out really well. It's, it's worth every penny of the $85 I spent on it. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I think it came out great. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next, next video.